Alright, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to One Game One Life. My name is Typo, and this is Baldur's Gate 3 Part 68. And this is gonna be a like a half episode, like a speed episode, but I could not resist getting involved. I I dropped a bunch of stuff. We're gonna get more picky with our weight for now because we have no way to get rid of getting rid of this weight at the moment. <clears throat> we usually do 10 gold per pound. We're going to do 20 gold per pound um, for now to be able to keep up with our weight needs. That's where everybody is at encumber-wise. We can drop many plate armors if we need to on Karlak, which are at 20 gold per pound. So they're like the minimum of what we're willing to carry for now. But we can just walk in here. Here we go. The work is never done. <clears throat> what do we have here? Disciples Rel. That's really it. Uh, there's gonna be an ex epic conversation here, isn't there? Yep. <laughs> All right. Fine. Let's be on my way. Yeah, I'll face you. Um, doesn't he have the potions of speed? Yeah, hand those over to him, please. What to do? <clears throat> those guides are swords, you have nothing. There's Gloric, Zealot Brin, bunch of adepts. Uh, the armorer to the absolute. Alright, Zarel, let's talk. You dare show yourself here after all you've done! You have betrayed me. You have betrayed General Thorm. You have betrayed our god! And for what? That little firefly buzzing around overhead. I'll crush you first, then her, and in death, you will all serve the Absolute. I've looked forward to killing you since the moment we met. You hid it well. I thought you'd be another notch on my bedpost, but instead I'll make a trophy of your bones. Boys, make this traitor bleed. <clears throat> Game on. Initiative 10, we killed that initiative there. Alright, let's do this. I'm ready. Disciples Rel is going to dodge anything I throw. Mm-hmm. Can't afford to stay idle. Do a big call lightning here. Can hit both of them at level four. And call that channel divinity down. Let it happen. Destructive wrath. The full 40 on both of them. Bang! Gloric was not ready. She's pretty low in the turn order, but it is what it is. Asterion? Can you reach at all, my man? No, he's not going to get a turn like that. Alright, worth a shot. Okay, we could kill Gloric. 94% through all those mirror shields? How? She's got 23 AC with all those shields. How, how do you have 94%? Asterion, how are you built? Hold up. This is plus 2 to attack. Yeah. And then he's got plus 5 from his dex. Plus 4 from his proficiency. That's plus 11. Plus 11 with advantage. I don't see how plus 11 with advantage equals 94%. Is reverberation hurting her? Like, no? Because if this does hit her, like, I do want to take the shot. Alright. Wow! <laughs> yeah! With the crit, no less. Damn, Astarian. He said no turn for Zrel, baby. Wow. That's crazy, actually. 
That's actually nuts. Alright, let her wild shape and do her panther for him. Alright, she's in it. Same spot as Shadowheart. Alright. Ooh, she got pretty far there. Alright. Let it begin. Uh, do we need rage on this fight? We might as well. We're not gonna be able to long rest till this is over. Until, like, we've taken out the whole place. Wow, Acolyte Kimmerel is hiding really well. So is Acolyte Bellub. I did not see these guys at all. Bravo. Let's use... For now... Let's do this. Kill Glorick. Yeah. Yeah, we might as well rage. We're not gonna be able to... We're... This is it, right? This is the rest of the day. Let's frenzy. There's no reason to hang on to these resources, I don't think. Want another? Going in. Nice hit. Karlak. Oh, we're getting more people involved. Fair enough. Fair enough. Tamelia getting lit up a little bit there. Melee weapon out. Move on over. Anything worth Zrell's personal reminder? Seven gold, whole chicken. Nope, we'll pass. All right, and then Bear Rock, the man himself. Bear Heart Rage. Yes, sir. Let's get in there and swing. Forty-five percent without advantage. Zealot Brim has got that good AC. But he's who we can reach, so let's go for it. Oh! <laughs> You're kidding me! Wow! Way to go, Bear Rock! He had no right killing that guy right there. Hell yes. Halberd's worth more than two gold per pound. I don't know why I keep picking those keys up. Where's my key ring at? Yeah, we have so many of the same key. Oh, whatever. Sure. Alright, go for it, Knowles. We're ready. We ain't got nothing. We ain't got nothing. Alright, Shadowheart, keep moving. Call lightning down right here. Knock him off. No, no destructive wrap on that one. Okay. And that'll do for her. Maybe a potion of healing. Yep. Panther? Enhanced jump. Into battle. Into battle. As she says. Minus 2 HP and prone. That's not bad. There we go. It's the best we can ask for right there. A Guardian of Faith, okay. And Hunger of Hadar. Yeah, go ahead and give it your best shot, champ. Nothing. You can't stop Bear Rock. He's an absolute tank. And he kills enemies. Like a beast. Decent damage there. Okay. Hunger Hadar did three, I'm guessing. Blinded, and I still have this that much chance to hit. Without the big swing. Not ideal. Let's get rid of the blind, shall we? Go ahead and take your blind swings at me. Oh, 
I don't realize you're blind too, but alright, he actually did hit. Good on him. Reckless. Got her. And then... Another big swing. Nice crit, but use the undead fortitude bit. Now we, yeah, we can swing big here. Some, uh, someone else can take out the little one there. Hope your soul is in good. Good hit. Concentration save. Okay. Time for a cup. A starion is in danger. Fair. Can't see Klimic. Can we cunning action dash out of here? Yeah, cutting action dash. Get out of here. The better position. Here we go. Got that good movement. I'll let Carlac get in there, I guess. Don't need the big swing for that one. Just get in there and swing once. All right, he's gonna keep swinging apparently, so let's leave that range. Um, do we need a potion of speed here? Is that something we need, or do we save that for a better fight, like a tougher fight? <laughs> Feller of monsters, all in, big. Ooh, nice hit. Alright, that'll work for now. So much for peace. Starion, go ahead and kill this guy. Uh, Scorching Ray, actually. 80% there. It's 2d6 each. 75 there. And then 70 there. 75 there. Let's do that. Ooh. Okay, Astarian. <laughs> he said it's too easy. That Scorching Ray on his crossbow once for short rest is crazy. We need to utilize that more. It's every short rest. Damn. That's craziness. Call down the lightning right here. Okay. Uh, Destructive Wrath, because we're going to short rest after this. Nice hit. Jugular Strike. Pounce. I don't know movement, my ass. Bring me into battle. Glorik, you're in the way. Hey, Gloric, stop it. Uh, come on. <laughs> come on. Damn, really? What a shame. All right, fine, dash. There you are. Let the panther tank for a bit. Another guardian of faith. They love it. Swing and a miss. Shame on you. I don't think Shahira that has that kind of AC. A good berry. Okay. Get him. Thunderous smite by Munish. Um. No, I'll hold on to that one. Ooh, ow. Look at them, like, actually damaging the Dark Urge. Their rock's taking real shots out here. I can't believe it. Alright, 84% he's dead. Bye. Oh, God, I remember. Forgot about his whole comeback with 1 HP thing. Now you're dead. And then a big swing here. Reckless. Ah, oh, you missed. 
You fool. How could you miss? Big hit there. Nice critical Astarian. Oh my goodness. Is that this making that happen? The fact he can crit on a 19 as well? And he's rolled a 20. <laughs> I mean, he's just rolling 20s. Good on him. Alright, Carlac. 95% on Acolyte Kimmeral. Oh my god, wait a minute. What was that damage right there? The full 15 in the 6 to 15. Oh my good what Carlac! Oh my goodness! Since when? Oh my god, she's insane. She's cooking him. a lot of parasites you're asking me to pick up. Just saying. It's probably getting excessive eventually. So much loot we're leaving. Oh! Whoa! 19 AC Dwarven Splint Mail. One less piercing damage. Plus one to bonus saving... Bonus to strength saving throws and checks. Disadvantage on stealth and plus two con? What the... Oh, these are the main two thing... Oh, this is the traitor. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thanks for the owl bear bag egg back, you loser. Got him. The Zealot Bryn. Disciples Rel. Oh, thank you much. Absolute's Protector. Fire Shield Chill. Ice Cold Flames shed light in a 3 meter radius. You take only half damage of all fire damage and deal 2d8 cold damage to anyone who hits you with a melee attack. Wow. For 10 turns on a long rest, no concentration, take half damage from fire, but also do all that cold damage to people who hit you? It's pretty good. Okay. And another specimen, why not? Grab all that. Okay, so like I said, we were going to drop the plate armor because it's just not worth enough. She can't seem to drop things for some weird reason. Come on, let's go. I have such a headache. So I'll send things her way for now. Looks like we actually don't have to start dropping things like that yet. Shadowheart can still carry some things. But we are going to have to start dropping stuff from Carlax soon. Just not yet. Okay, yeah, we do have to drop one plate armor. That's not happening. What is going on with her and dropping things? It even loaded a save and it still wasn't dropping things correctly. But whatever. Moving on. Yeah, we already looted that. Tamelia? Hyena ear is a, a must. Barbed arrow, nice. Valuable plate for some reason. Hyena ear, barbed arrow, and... <laughs> for it. Another specimen. Hand crossbow, arrow of lightning. The rest of it not worth it. At the value that we had set. Because we gotta be picky right now. Look at all these things we can pick up. Oh god. Oh god, there's so much. Great sword, long sword. How much are those worth per pound? Yeah, th those are 100% worth picking up. Plus three shields, damn. How about these things, are they worth it? Why do you have to go around the back to get this spear? I have to ask that question. Did we really? Did we really have to do that? Did we really? Okay, the pike is a terrible, terrible pickup. Get that out of my inventory. So is the spear, to be honest, but not nearly as bad as the pike. And the shield was terrible. Okay, drop those things. 
Very good. Leather armor not worth having. Why is that in our inventory? How'd that sneak in there? Okay. Where else is a lot of this weight coming from? Or is it just a miscellaneous bunch of goods that is doing this? It might just be a miscellaneous bunch of goods. Oh no. I'm not dropping the hamster. It's too funny. It's too funny. It can't be done. Oh god. Okay, let's do some alchemy maybe? I know this is not what we should be doing right now, but like I'm, <laughs> I'm really trying to save weight here. Extract all ingredients. There you go. Two new recipes unlocked. Okay. Oil of Bane. Oil of Combustion. Serpent Fang Toxin. Wizard's Bane Oil. We don't need to make any of those. Grenades? Web Grenade. That would be funny, but not needed. Elixir of Sea Invisibility. Cool that we can make that now. There's so many things we can make. Oh my god. Potion of Flying! Really? We can make two of those? Potion Superior as well. Make two of those, definitely. We can make potions of flying? That's sick. How's our weight looking now? Still bad. Damn it. Okay. We just need to start picking things up with Shadowheart, basically, because that's who's got weight left. Okay. Helmets are always worth it. Supply pack is always worth it. Potion of good or healing, yeah. Scroll of chromatic orbs, score. Thieves tools, of course. <laughs> oh my god, this is gonna be so much. Oh, I'm gonna eat so much shit in the comments for taking this much time looting. I'm sorry, I have a problem. But it's it's for the it's for our benefit down the line. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, Carlac, it's time to drop the plate armors. This isn't gonna happen. Goodbye, plate armors. We knew thee well. Okay. Everyone else can pick up a little bit. There's a dagger for you, Astarian. It's not great, but it's something to put in your offhand. Okay, they can both carry a little more. Okay, that was too much for Astarian. If we can just hand off a little bit to Shadowheart. They should both be good. The shovel, maybe? Aha! There you go. They're both set. Carlac's ready to pick up a bunch of stuff. We are... S yeah, okay. Carlac, you're our looter. We just had to drop all that plate armor I was getting prepared to drop in the future. We've already reached that point. And we ch <laughs> we're just getting started. Three gold and move over. What else can we loot on this floor? Now that we have no qualms making any enemies here. Make sure we fully clear the first floor now. Rip Steel Claw. That's Holy Fire. Let's not run through the Holy Fire. Let's go this way. Oh boy! Oh boy! This is like the prelude to things getting absolutely nuts. Is there anything we need from these rooms? Probably not, huh? I'm not seeing anything we need. We should go into that potion lady's room, but other than the potion lady... Yeah, this room right here. This is probably the only room we need to check out down here before we head up. Because she had some good stuff in there I didn't want to risk taking in the moment. 
like this potion of angelic reprieve. Arsonist oil. Potion of healing. Drow poison. On weapon coatings. The blood war. And a rustic chest. Hey ho. Very nice. Alright, and then we keep going. Taking the groves off the table. Invasion plans for Baldur's Gate. Orcs of the Trielta Hills. Is this gonna work? Is this gonna help? Map of Baldur's Gate depicting Upper City, Lower City, and Outer City as far as Worms Crossing, as well as Grey Harbor and the near course of the Keonther. Okay, so none of this is like, gotta have it. Okay, got it. Um, Jahira, you're looking a little rough, actually. Might have to transform back into a panther soon. Like a vandal. What am I to do? Like a wraith. Softer than a whisper. Everybody's sneaking. Ready. Quietly. Everybody's sneaking. Maybe we do shield the thralls and transfuse health first, though. Okay. First we transfuse health over to Karlak. I did it to the panther? What? That's not what I will. No, Jahira, you stole it again! God, she's so fat. Yep, 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 yep. Everybody back down. I need to use... I need to use Astarian's um, Perilous Stakes to go heal back up to full here. Let's move. Which means he needs plenty of crates to target. Damn it! Jahira stealing those heals really sucked. Alright, this sturdy chest can take our hits. Okay, Perilous Stakes. Okay. Alright. Offhand attack. Main hand attack. And enter. And then back to sh back to Astarian here. Do we have so many illithid powers waiting to go? Offhand attack. Main hand attack. Okay, one more turn of perilous stakes here. And then it is what it is past that point. Don't touch me. All right, it's over. All right, basically a full heal. That's huge. Transfuse into Karlak, this time for actually. Nice. Okay. And now we'll all be full health after a short rest. Alright. We're all ready. Yeah, let's do it. Alright, now everyone's topped off, ready to go. Full health. Channel divinities are ready. Um, Shadowheart should probably take the level 3 for the extra level 3 slot. She lost her fire resistance, but that's alright. Having that extra level 3 slot could really come in handy here. Main floor. Yeah, good luck with this one. Hey! Dead. Alright, get in there. I should be able to get pretty close if that's where it starts. Hmm. Bunch of Necromites, there's Rhodesia. Could firebolt. Could use the shatter from the necklace. Could be good. 
made the wisdom save. Okay. Killed one and did great damage to the other. So we love how that one went. Time to kill. Hey, Darkers, that's what you do. You kill people. Alright, we don't need the big swing. We just need a light tap right here. Bang. And now we swing big. Nice hit. And... Nice hit. And now Carlac can finish the job. Oh, what are you doing down here, Carlac? Hello? Ooh, my knee just popped. How? I'm literally playing a video game sitting in a chair. Oh no, my knees are terrible. Oh, they're not stopping us, baby. Oh, they are not getting in the way of this. I don't know if movement might... You're a liar. Whatever, that'll work. Bye. Saving, apparently? They must think I'm about to go up that ornate door, but I want to make sure I've explored everything else first. Rhodesia is a Merkelite Scourge. Okay. Carlac's gonna keep looting. Alright, now what's in here that we might want? Now that we can actually loot the Flaming Fist, Marcus, and stuff like that. No word from Balthazar. A little gift. Oh, another Mind Flare Parasite specimen. Add it to the pile. We have nine now. What the hell? I didn't look at what the ring did. We don't need a great club plus one. Actually, I just saw that. Wait a second. These great clubs plus one are way overweight for what they're worth. Never mind. Drop these. Not worth the weight at all. Alright, what did the ring do? Invisibility and blur? What? Damn! On a ring? Woof. Man, that'd be good on him. Yeah, give him give him the uh shifting corpus ring, please. Thank you. Look at our experience. Let's go. Let's go! Swift as my feet can carry me. Garlax still has plenty she can pick up. Love it. A little gift. Marcus, I assume no explanation is needed for just how rare these appendages are, and I trust you shall make good use of them. You have a golden opportunity to please the general. Do not squander it. Access to the unwilling donor has proven difficult since the harvesting. But if I'm more forward to the opportunity, I shall pass along your gratitude. B. So from Ketherick, invasion plans for Baldur Gate. Same thing? Yeah. Progressing army's absolute weak points in the city defense is marked with X. Gortosh, the tone of your recent letter is inappropriate. You may follow the lore of tyranny, but I do not answer to him or to you. It isn't the fault of any of the chosen that the artifact has gone astray. Unforeseen events occurred, as they always do. I acknowledge your planning mastery and brilliance of mind, but you lack the depth of experience that brings patience and composure. The artifact will be found. Our enemies will be thwarted. We will prevail. That shows you are reliable as well as brilliant. Alright, we've explored this place to its fullest. Now let's go this way. Where's Squire? Oh, did Squire leave with, uh... Catherick to go upstairs? Missing from Gortosh. Yo, Gortosh is in with these guys. For real, for real. General, given what we know from my research about the Gith artifact, I can't emphasize enough how critical it is that it be recovered. The power that artifact contains can boost our own efforts to unforeseen levels, but if it falls into the hands of enemies of wit and persistence, it can bring down all of our plans and schemes. The body of our handpicked captain for the artifact raid wasn't found in the wreckage of the Nautiloid. I'm not all that easy in my mind about that fact. Find the artifact, employ rigorous means, do not fail. Okay. Nothing there. She, she just said, ooh. Ooh. Alright, what does this wooden desk offer? A 
Attracting Drow Exiles. What? That's interesting. Apostle Diary. <clears throat> Most of the te text has been scouted away by time, but remains appears to be some form of ritual incantation. Your white ribs, the pillars. Your bleached skull, the dome. Take on Apostle's final form, Cathedral Rite, Rod of Blessed Bone. Got up to something dark. Very dark. That's what I'm gathering, too. Crazy. Okay, there's still nothing here. This just looked like a place where things would happen, you know? But I'm clearly wrong about that. Emboss with A plus I. Alright, I'll take that in case that matters. Devotee. Styre records the life of John Medellin. He suffered from lycanthropy, becoming a werebear at the advent of the full moon. Cured of his condition by a priestess of Saluna, John Medellin exchanged his claws for a great sword and a cause. He would keep this priestess, her name was Erlona, safe from all trouble on the highways and byways. Further, he would bear witness to her many miracles, for Erlona was a saint of the goddess, gifted even more than he could have imagined. They never fell in love, though their friendship was quite something. Hey, for a lot of people, that's plenty. For some people, that's not nearly enough. It just depends on what kind of relationship they had. Okay. And now we go higher. We don't need to go that way. Just go around. Oh, okay, yeah, the guard's key. True. Alright, the ornate door. This leads to something next time. That's right, this is where we leave off. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, consider giving it a like. And if you really enjoyed it, consider subscribing. Either way, thank you so much for joining us on this journey in Baldur's Gate 3. It's been an absolute blast. And I am ready, oh so ready, to see what lies for us beyond this ornate door. I'll see all of you next time.